production of White Horse Live, a co-production of White Horse Black Mountain and Rad House Studio, coming to you live from a secret location somewhere in the mountains of western North Carolina. This evening is the 25th episode of White Horse Live, hosted as always by Bob Hinkle, and tonight featuring Abby the Spoon Lady and the Tater Boys. There is no fixed ticket price for this program. Instead, we ask that you pay what you can. Now more than ever, our artists rely on your tips. They can't hear your applause. Your tips are the way to show your appreciation for them. The simplest way to do that tonight is to visit abby.whitehorselive.tips in your web browser. Not .com, not tips.com, just abby.whitehorselive.tips. We'll display the tip jar address from time to time during the show. Thank you for helping make this series a success. We continue to expand the schedule, and we're grateful for your help in spreading the word. Please keep sharing the event notices, hosting live watch parties, and telling all your friends. Now here's your host, Bob Hinkle. Good evening, everybody. Nothing can start until we do this. When the song rises up, White horses will fill the mountains. When the song rises up, then the clouds roll away. You don't believe that music has the power. Just stay right here with us for just about an hour. Well, Abby the Spoon Lady, the Tater Boys, they're going to lift you up. They're going to loosen up your tighten and they will fill your cup. When the song rises up, white horses will fill the mountains. When the song rises up, then the clouds roll away. Then the clouds roll away. Then the clouds, uh, they roll away. So now we can actually kind of get started here. <coughs> Let me tell you something about who you're going to have, who we're having tonight. Uh, we are very happy and very proud and honored, in fact, to have Abby the Spoon Lady and the Tater Boys with us. <coughs> Excuse me. Abby is probably the world's best spoon player. At least that's my opinion. And she's an internationally renowned street performer who's got goodness knows how many hits on the various social media platforms, millions upon millions upon millions. And another part of her life, Abby rode the rails and hitchhiked for eight years with all the positive and negative things attached to that life. She'll probably tell you more about it as the evening goes on. Abby's in the process of writing a book of short stories, children's books, and of course, more videos. Abby and the Tater Boys' most recent LP, In the Dirt and Thriving, is terrific and available. And the Tater Boys ain't too shabby either, come to think about it. I think what maybe Ab made Abby catch fire and become the international personality, literally, that she is, is the reality of her music and of herself. No bells and whistles, well, maybe a few bells. In spite of the curveballs that life has thrown her, she's learned to hit them out of the park. So, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, guppies and goldfish, and anybody else on the couch that I forgot, please, a warm, white horse, virtual round of applause for Abby the Spoon Lady and the Tater Boys.
Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and here's a little Miss Boone lady, Mr. Do yeah. Dusty Whitus. And I'm telling you. Hopefully everybody can hear us even on YouTube. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. We got it. We can't see it. This next tune is called Bonaparte's Retreat. Love that song. Me too. <laughs> Tips and um, uh, for those watching on YouTube, uh, hopefully, y'all can look in the description below and um, there's links of where to find our latest album and things like that, and uh, also where to find upcoming shows and internet things and stuff that we're doing. Um, so, yeah, you can find all that stuff around. I'm gonna have to check that out so I know what's going on. <laughs> Make sure you let me know. What are you going to do now, Dustin? I'm thinking a little bit of old Dan Tucker. Okay. <laughs>
Well, Auntie Tucker was a fine old man, washed his face in a frying pan, combed his hair with a wagon wheel, and died with a toothache in his heel. Get out the way. Get out the way. Wait, Pop. Not me, buddy. Wu Tang. Good, <laughs> Good job, Willie. Good job, Willie. What's next, Dusty? What is next? I believe it's rye whiskey. Oh, goodness. See? Another Jeez. one of those. One, one of those. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> this song is on our new album In the Dirt and Thriving. I'm glad you remembered it. Eh? That's right. <laughs> Presented by Ron Cole. No, that's not true. <laughs>
stack of diamonds I know you of old Rob my poor pockets of silver and gold Oh whiskey you villain You've been my downfall You picked me, you puffed me But I love you of all Rye whiskey, rye whiskey Rye whiskey I cry If I don't have rye whiskey I surely will die Rye whiskey, rye whiskey Rye whiskey I cry It sure is hot in this secret location. <laughs> and we're at the White Horse in Black Mountain, North Carolina. Um, again, folks, the address for tips is abby.whitehorselive.tips. Um, there are links in the description and elsewhere. So uh, poke around and find us. You can find our album um, on Bandcamp. Just do a little bit of a Google Spoon Lady Teeter Boys. It'll pop right up, I promise. That's right. Poke around and find out. Spotify yeah. and uh, YouTube also. I yeah. iTunes. iTunes, Spotify, all, all the places. We're there. You can find us. I think we're going to do another song off the album. About whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize the theme. Let's do Ronnie Spencer. All right. like a good one. <laughs> I've been down the hill, Mississippi. They 
Oh no! Mississippi Delta, did you? <laughs> it's a tale for another time, Toby. Yeah, it's the only place I haven't been in jail. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tina. goodness. All right, folks, again, the, the place to go and, and uh, send us a little tip or whatever. And um, again, we are at the White Horse in Black Mountain, North Carolina, which is right outside of Asheville. And um, so when everything's all popping and live shows are happening again, make sure to check the listings if you're coming to visit the Asheville area because there's good music here. Great But venue. again, the link is abby.whitehorselive.tips. Um, so, yeah. What are we playing? Make sure and check. What's next? We're skipping through the frost and snow. Oh, all right. I wish no, we were skipping through the frost and snow. I wish I was skipping through the frost and snow. It's hot up here. Positive imagery. <laughs> Just let me set the mood. Please. No, too worry. Set the mood, Big Daddy. Tune that machine. Are you are you in tune, Abby? Well, well don't you work? <laughs> Skipping through the frost and snow. 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 Darling, what can I? Darling, what can I do? If we ain't fine losing, surely I am just a fool. Darling, what can I do? Oh, baby, let your hand in mine. Baby, let your hand in mine. Let your hand in mine. Neither of us can deny. Darling, we are running out of time. Baby, let your hair roll down. Baby, let your hair Where you been so long? Where you been? 
Baby, where you been so long? Hell, I've been in the pen with rough and rowdy men. That's where I've been so long. I'll tell you what. Skipping. That wishing. Oh, I got sick from it. All that skipping through the frost and the snow. It's rough getting old. Have you ever done that? Yes. But I fell down. <laughs> Remember, folks, Abby at WhiteHouseLive.com. White, <laughs> White Horse. White Horse, what'd I say? White House? So spoon oh, for president stickers you got sitting there that are getting to your brain. I'm sorry, you're right. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. Shut up, Tub. So for those of you who are just tuning in, again, we're at the White Horse in Black Mountain, North Carolina. We're going to be playing for another half hour or so, give or take a little bit. Can and, you tell uh, us a story, Abby, sometime? Do you want me to do that now? or do that after know. this song. After this song? Will you please I, tell us a story? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> be uh, patient, child. I, that, <laughs> not one of the virtues I've possessed. They ask a lot of oh, me. I know. <laughs> So what, Dusty? What are you doing now? Fly around, my pretty little Oh, miss. goodness gracious. Fly around, my darling.
Almost drove you crazy, huh? Um, almost, almost. It's warm in here. Might have been successful. <sighs> you want me to tell a story? Tell a yes. story so I can get my banjo in proper tunage. Well, I was, I was going to tell a story about Railroad Bill, uh, but I'm not quite sure I want to tell that story quite yet. Well, in that case. But uh, we do want to start telling a few more of those, those stories along with some of the folk songs we sing. And we will be playing Railroad Bill coming up next, and, um, which is kind of a cool one. Uh, the story behind that's really interesting. And there's a lot of tall tales kind of associated with it, which makes it even more fun because you don't want the truth to get in the way of a good story. That's right. Right. But um, I will tell you a true story. Um, hopefully it won't get me in no trouble. I'm not going to tell them about the time I went to jail, are you? Uh, no, I won't tell them about the time you went to jail. <laughs> good, good. Or in... Or the other time you to go to jail. Or the other time you went to jail. No, um... <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about what it's like traveling, I guess, by, by train since so many people ask me that. Um, again, I'm going to say, uh, since this is going on the internet, loud and clear... <laughs> But only because it's on the internet. Do not hop on freight trains. Don't do, do that. Finger shake, finger shake. If you catch her in person, it's a different tale, though. <laughs> Don't hop on trains. It's bad for you. Um, that, that is very true. So the thing about, about riding trains across the country, I used to, you know, everything I owned in my backpack, hitchhiking, um, freight trains, getting around. And one of the most commonly asked questions I get asked is uh, what do you do about the police? And so, um, you know, for the most part, the police seem to kind of leave you alone while you're on the tracks. Um, you get in some areas where they can be a little sketchy or whatnot, but for the most part, it's the police in the city that you gotta be mindful of. You know, and so, for example, um, I used to take this line between Nashville and Memphis pretty consistently. And um, going from Nashville to Memphis in a car maybe takes a couple hours. Um, but on the train, it takes something like 16 hours because you are stopping and waiting for other trains to pass consistently. And they move a lot of junk cars, meaning cars that they need to repair from one yard to another on that line. And so a lot of times they're broken cars that are jumping you around a lot and you're shaking around a lot. You gotta be careful which car you get on. Um, and so there's like, for example, there's this one spot where we pull up and we stop and we're waiting on another train to come by. Trains have traffic lights just like, just like cars do. And so the light gets a red and our train stops and we notice that there's this fella mowing his lawn in the, in the neighborhood next to us, right? And he's got train memorabilia all over his, his, his yard. He's got a little train, you know, kind of moving around his yard. He's got big stop sign things, all that stuff, lights, everything. And so we just kind of tuck down. We're as quiet as we could be, hoping that he doesn't hear us, he doesn't see us. And, um, you know, and we're thinking maybe we got away with it, you know. Maybe he didn't hear us, everything's fine. But, no, here come these steps coming through, um, you know, steps on the rocks, chunk, chunk, chunk. And um, sheriff's department, go ahead and throw your bags over. So we throw our bags over and we crawl down. And he takes down our names. And... Um, you know, then he calls up the railroad police, who decided he didn't want to drive all the way over there. And he says, again, I don't want to drive all the way over there. Just take down their names and let them go. So he wrote down our names and then said to us real serious, like, we don't like strangers in our town, so I'm just going to leave you here next to these tracks and this train. I, I think you know what to do. And so we just got back on the train and went on to Memphis. You know, but in Memphis, you get to Memphis, it's, it's kind of a different deal. You know, you go downtown, you could do a little street performing. The street performers on Beale Street will chase you down the street pretty much. They're pretty territorial about what spaces are theirs. 
But, you know, you did eventually you find a little spot to make a little bit of money, and then you go back, you know, to the hop-out spot and maybe head back towards Nashville if that's where you want to be. And in that spot um, where you're going back towards Nashville, there's this giant highway and um, or, like, four-lane road, and right on top of this road is this furniture store where people would just go and dump their used furniture in front of this furniture store. And then the folks at the furniture store would dump it underneath the bridge. And so we would have, you know, lamps and end tables and chairs and recliners, all this stuff down under there. Yeah. And we'd have our own little fire pit and stuff. And we would just kick back and wait on train. Um, Except one time we went under there and somebody had brought a really nice pleather couch. And, you know, it was really, really comfortable. There's this big retaining wall next to the tracks there, and we drug this couch next to this retaining wall. And the trains there would pull out, and they'd hover for about five minutes, pull back in, grab another string of cars, pull back out, and hover for another five minutes, and then take off. And right up the street, there's this church. They give you a sack lunch and an orange and a little juice box and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, you know, and so we'd go up the street and we'd get our little sack lunch and we'd come back and we'd wait on this little couch and we'd wait for the train to pull up and we're digging this couch so much that we decided we want to take the couch with us, which maybe wasn't the best idea ever. Probably not. But this is a giant couch and if you've ever been on the side of a boxcar, you know that they are really, really tall and if you are on the side of a boxcar, where the gravel is also really tall, maybe the tracks are a little bit taller than, than what not, then I tell you what, it is a feat to get a giant pleather couch into a boxcar. And so here we are about three or four deep pulling, that, pushing this thing up into this boxcar. And I think at one point it even like fell back on top of us and we had to pick it up again and get it back into the car. And um, you know, eventually we got up in there and next thing you know, we're down the track, sitting on the couch, sipping on our juice boxes, watching everything go by. And, um, you know, we made jokes about how we probably should have brought, like, an end table and a side lamp from underneath the bridge, too, and <laughs> how much better it would have be if we had, like, a hot cup of coffee and a bathrobe and a newspaper and just let it roll into the railroad yard and let one of the railroad workers just open it up and have one of us sitting there. <laughs> like, they just woke us up from... <laughs> <laughs> from our living room or something. Not knock. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but as we're pulling in Nashville, you kind of look off onto the side. I'd see this playground, and I knew that was my key to s- that we were going to be rolling into Nashville, and the train was going to slow to go into that yard. So I'd see this, this playground, and we get ready, and we push this giant couch back off the train underneath the bridge there. And um, right now where that bridge, where that bridge is... Um, Where it was a bunch of forests and a bunch of trees and a hobo jungle is now condominiums and a big brick retaining wall. Um, But back then, you would look down from on top of Charlotte Street, uh, on Church Street, I mean, going down towards Charlotte Street there in downtown, and you would see underneath the bridge just kind of like debris. You would maybe see the couch, too. And... um, you know, and from somebody up top, you would think, oh, well, somebody should clean that up. But if you went down there to the hobo jungle, you would find train tags, I mean, you know, people's names carved into the trees from the 1920s. You'd find, you know, World War II memorabilia in, in chests that, that hobos took with them. You'd realize that that was the same spot where Harry McClintock sat, where Leadbelly sat to catch those trains. And although now it might be a big brick retaining wall and some condominiums, when that was gone, when those trees were gone, we felt as if there should have been a plaque put up. This is what was here, this piece of history that's lost. A hundred years of hobos traveling down the rails and stopping at this exact spot. Gone. And I bet Railroad Bill, speaking of... Maybe. <laughs> I bet he did. I bet he parked his little butt right there and waited on the train. I hope so. I bet he did. That's that same line, the Louisville, the Louisville Nashville, Nashville line. Louisville, Nashville, but it operated in Alabama and Florida at the time, which is where he was around. Well, the L and N. The L and N doesn't yeah. stop here anymore. That's an apropos song that I don't know how to play. 
Let's do Railroad Bill. Let's do. <laughs> Juice box right in the L and N. I don't I know like why that sounds Bill. so good to me. I've seen, I've heard everything. so many travelers playing that song. It's great. Late one evening down by the railroad tracks, got so drunk that I heard another my traveler play it. <laughs> <laughs> what now, Doosty? Well, oh no, well, well, well. Well, well, how about it? Well, well, you get a line like an old honey. You get a line like an old baby. You get a line like an old will go down to the broad and old honey. Baby, mine. Well, frog went to court and he did right on. Frog went to court and he did right Take this 
Fancy spooning. <laughs> oh, thanks again, Bob, for having us here at the Black, at uh, the White Horse in Black Mountain. We are at the White Horse in Black Mountain, White North Horse Carolina. Black Mountain. <laughs> the White Horse in Black Mountain, North Carolina, and you, you can you can send us uh, online tips if you wish to at Abby at White Horse Live dot tips. Um, yeah. Those links will be floating around. You can find those links. You can also uh, find us on Bandcamp, iTunes, Spotify, the interweb, all over the, the place. Interweb. Yes. So we were there. smash, subscribe, like, and all those things. And if you happen to be in the you know Asheville area um, when everything is opening up and whatnot, um, maybe check the listings over at the White Horse in Black Mountain. It's not far from Asheville, and there are some really great musicians that come through here. It's kind of a little gem that's kind of tucked away on the side of Asheville. It's totally so worth it's good it. for everybody. Yeah, totally worth mm -hmm. the drive. Yes. Bob's a pretty good guy. <laughs> uh oh. Summer's Day. 
more to make it good. Swallowed the place right where it stood. The mortgage man, he came around, but it's hard to lay claim on, on a hole, hole in the ground. ground. No chickens, no chickens. <laughs> no chickens. <laughs> awesome. Miss ago. One more. Two more? Do we have time for two more? We have one more. Two time more. For two more, the boss said. The boss says. Wait. Let's do a, let's bring it down or not. If you do, it ain't no grave. All right, and then, then jam it on out. All right. Yes, sir. Thanks everybody for watching tonight. I'm glad we got to play some music for you. We hear you clapping. <laughs> <laughs>
Dusty Wise. <laughs> That's Abby the Spoon Lady, and I'm Tub Martin, and we're having a good time. That's Willie. That's Willie. Oh, yeah, Willie's back Wilson's here. back. He's not wanting to be on the camera today, I guess. Well, there's nobody out in the audience for him to, That's a good to point. schmooze good point. with. That's usually his M.O. So come to our shows, and you get to schmooze with Willie. That's right. Yes. <laughs> All right, folks, again, the, uh, the link um, to be helping us out is at abby.whitehorselive.tips. And we're out at the White Horse in Black Mountain, North Carolina, hanging out. We got one more song, yeah. and um, so on and so forth. Like, share, subscribe, all those things. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you for spending the evening with us. Thank you, Bob, Thank you and Mike. all the people here have been wonderful today. We've had an absolute blast. Yeah. I've lost 11 pounds since I got on stage. <laughs> all water. <bit. laughs> no. You ready? Yeah. In constant sorrow, all through these days. That was the perfect time. Street, you want to do it in constant song. sorrow through all my days. That's all right. Good thing I have a backup. That's right. But it's not a banjo, so we'll have to do a different song. Let's more glory. Let's more glory. Yeah. All right. We're ready for anything. We got a replacement song for you. Sorry, the string broke. Oh, little 
Worst and all. Worst and all. Happy the Spoon Lady, Duster Whitus, Tub Martin. Thank, Thank you, you very everybody. much for tuning in. That was mighty fine, folks. That was mighty fine. Thank I you think very much. Somewhere off the distance, I heard thunderous applause. All right, let's put up a, a period. Really? Right, two periods. Here's the first one. When the song rises up, white horses will fill the mountains. When the song rises up, then the clouds roll away. Sisters, ain't you glad to feel that fear of fading? Brothers, ain't you glad they're going to be a better day? People, ain't you glad that we're all in this together? People, ain't you glad that the clouds are going to roll away? Well, Abby and the Tater Boys, they were the vessel here this time. We hope that you enjoyed yourself, maybe had a glass of wine. I hope that you were able to let go of yourself. I hope that we have helped you take your jaw down off the shelf. When the song rises up, white horses fill the mountains. When the song rises up, then the clouds roll away. Then the clouds roll away. What's going to happen to the clouds? They're going to roll away. All right, now, just one more piece of business. As you know, if you've been here before, White Horse uh, Live is, we're still conducting our Worldwide Between the Cushions contest. We want to know what treasures you find between the cushions of your couch. Please drop us a line and tell us what cool stuff you came up with. Send it to uh, Between the Cushions, P.O. Box 456, Black Mountain, North Carolina, 28711. A winner will be announced each week on White Horse Live and a grand prize will also be announced as soon as we figure out what it is and whether or not we can afford it. So let us hear from you and your couch. This week's winner is Lonnie Wander from Been There, North Carolina. Lonnie found an unused bus ticket to Paradise, Kentucky, and a carpet beetle who lost his way trying to get home to the Oriental rug. Thank you all for joining us this evening. Be safe, be well, be happy, and remember, for every jet plane that's in the air, there's about a thousand birds who potentially might fly into the engines and cause an early landing. Good night now. Thank you for joining us for White Horse Live with tonight's guests, Abby the Spoon Lady and the Tater Boys. This program is produced by White Horse Black Mountain and by Rad House Studio. Bob Hinkle is your host and executive producer. Claire Hoke is audio engineer. Jessica Wharton is Director of Photography. Michael Stevens is Network Engineer. Jessica Fox is Key Grip. Public Relations Services provided by Maggie Rainwater at Hoosier Devil. I'm Rebecca Hillgraves, Director and produ Producer for these programs. Join us next Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern for Ashley Heath, right here on White Horse Live. In the meantime, be good to each other, and that includes all 